Hello again, welcome back. Today we'll be shooting episode 6 of the gimmick. I'm not in character yet. I haven't had enough beer, haven't found a beer sponsor. And uh, if you know a potato chip company of some kind, we'll take those too. Uh, I would like to put a shout out and say regardless of what you think of the conflicts America is involved in right now, these people that are defending our nation are defending my ability to get drunk in a garage and paint silly pictures all day and make money off it. So, if I can do that and they're allowing me to do that, God praise them. Alright, now uh, let me get in character. Alright. Hmm. I am thinking I don't want to be stepping on impossible wet paint because if I bring that into my mom's house and get it on the carpet, she is going to kick my butt. So, I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing. I realize what I've been doing now. Give me a second. No, fucker. Well, shit, I guess with the camera I got, that's how we gotta do it. Uh, let me check something out. Okay, so sorry about smoking in front of you. I know it's a terrible habit and you're all criticizing me now. It's like that post I put on uh, the social media website today. The large woman wearing a scarf. They criticize the artists. Got lots and lots of responses, but I lost lots and lots of social media friends, so I guess I'm not going to do that kind of thing anymore. It's a lot of um, Anyway, what I think I'm going to paint today is an American flag. I think it's number three. American flag number three. Uh, I know there's a bar in uh, Shadyside in Pittsburgh called Mario's that has one. I think they put it in their kitchen. I gave it to them because they sponsored me to do my 2000 show, 2012 show. I apologize uh, for my uh, Kind of like a, not really a turnover, but it was kind of like a breakup. Because in that show, we had the show with all the old dead guys, the modern masters. Which everybody would like to do, but nobody gets to do, and I just got lucky as hell. Because Mike, the man, wrote me a check and got me materials so I could work. So anyway, I need a personal assistant down here. About 80 miles away from Nashville, Tennessee. Because, like, whoever uh, put this canvas away, probably me, did not do a good job. And we're just going to cut this up, tuck some of it away somewhere, and uh, get the business. Uh, this is a lot of cannons. That makes an American flag, by the way. Is it a 3 by 5 So, if this is 6. shop that is now our working studio and uh, somewhere maybe if I check in uh, my iPhone we go like this and this is pretty much how you cut canvas oh uh, you bend over three by five right wait what's three 36 36 and once again this is a duct tape painting you buy this thing for so cheap for me, pretty much you're paying for materials and shipping because we're just launching this show this week. It's been a lot of time 
get him to this point where we can watch the show and where things became affordable and reasonable and everything made sense and stuff. So, you cut a little bit of the scissors, and let me show you the fun part, because of the noise. This noise sounds like progress. Uh, I'm weak. It's like the smell of bleach if you print t-shirts and have to clean off your own silk screens. It means something to you. business, basically if you're not commercial, if you're not a museum, you cannot hang most of the things I do, but that's my way of telling you, you can't afford what I do, even though I'm putting this painting up for probably 40 bucks, that's huge, and when I kick, here's a lot of money. So we stepped on the back. I guess that was me too, so I'll flip it over here. Zoom on both sides. This looks too big, doesn't it? I think you got the proportion wrong. Ah, there's a count stain on it. I'm kidding. We'll do it anyway. Then I'm gonna fly this behind the car. I'm gonna confirm the red flags next week to fit it on the locals, you know? Alright, I'm taking a break here for a second. Okay, I just checked out what the uh, gallery press in this baby would be. Uh, by the measurements and how we price stuff for hobbies out of Knight and Central. This would be over $1,850. And I'm going to put it up for 40 bucks. And until I actually get my audience and all that kind of thing, you're going to get it for 40 bucks. But eventually it's going to get to those people that are like, holy shit, he did six painting shows in like six days? You know, like, you know, like, you know, he inspired me a little bit, I'll do six shows in one day. And, uh, paintings too, and I just, uh, I can do it, you know? It's like, uh, I went and saw the good people in Pittsburgh around Valentine's Day, and I came back, and then jumped back in. Had all the sites out that I'm not using. Like that, uh, that pin interest, who does that? What kind of weird people are those? I don't understand the thing. Facebook, I understand a little bit. You know. Uh, but, uh, so anyways, this, when you have, um, when you're painting in acrylic, not oil. I'm not an oil master, I'm the master of acrylic. I paint in plastic. Uh, I have just rolled the whole canvas with the beat technique. That means water, but it beads up on this canvas because it's obviously uh, coated in something that wants to accept gesso, which I'm not doing. I'm just staining the canvas because when this arrives at your place, it'll be nicely folded inside of plastic or rolled, however I feel like doing it. And uh, if you're nice to me, I'll include a roll of duct tape so you can just tape it to the wall and be like, bam, revolution, yeah. Hell with pretension. Attention sucks. I just got mad in the social media about that today, and that's how I got all those responses. I'm like, it's always the same damn type of person with a different face, you know? And, uh, everything. Same personality, same body type, same type of occupation, they want to try to be an artist. And I'm like, come on, man. In all, in all, in all truth, my little audience that I have now, I was sponsored in Pizza Hut. Buy Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. You know the pizza shop, the big one, used to be back in the day? Like, uh, in the 1990s, for two exhibits where I showed over 60 pieces in a huge room. The room was about 1,500 square feet. And it was just me. It was a solo show. And Pizza Hut let me do it. They got authentication from the top. And they're like, Pavi is the shit because he's been making pizza for so long. And they let me do it. So, I don't want to hear about it. Like, you got corporate sponsors. That's the thing I say about, like, Mario's, you know? Mario's is the best set of bars in Pittsburgh. You ever go to Pittsburgh? Stop by Mario's. I'll tag it. I'll, I'll even, like, put up a link to their website. 
But I'm actually waiting. This is another issue. I gotta wait for this water to dry so we got time to like shoot the uh, crap. And uh, I'll, I'll put it this way: like a. Uh, you need sponsors if you're gonna make it. And uh, I don't know anybody with sponsors. I don't know anybody out of Pittsburgh as a painter. There's two guys. One is Burton Moore, some in the same collections as him, and there's a comic book guy that is kind of like the Batman sort of thing. And uh, those are the two guys out of Pittsburgh, and I'm um, to something else. Like I've kind of shown with like Picasso and Matisse side by side, Andy Warhol, you know, Keith Haring, uh, all that kind of stuff. Like when you buy a poppy, you can know mostly that a poppy has been shown beside the works of the great modern masters that made some type of change in social culture possible. What I'm about is use duct tape to hang the motherfucker. Ducker, ducker, ducker. The word is duck with a D. Anyway, this thing from last night's still drying. I think we're getting ready to go ahead of this water is not going anywhere. But there are no mistakes, so says Bob Ross. Long live Bob Ross. He was one of my uh, actually great inspirations because he wasn't full of shit or pretension. Uh, all the galleries and museums and pretentiousness of the world frowns upon Bob Ross because he did speed paintings. Well, I'm going to paint this American flag in about 10 minutes, and it's going to be worth about 1850 bucks. And you know, I got this uh, thing about like. The Chinese probably made this canvas. I can look this up right now. Let's see. Maybe it's the Indians. I like the Indians better. No, it doesn't say. They had it. India! India, yes. Very glorious Hindus made this canvas so Bobby could paint on it. And now he acknowledges that fact by seeing the beating of the water that came from the Great River on top of the canvas that will not go into the canvas. And uh, so basically what I do is I uh, take a beer, bullshit in front of the camera, and then I paint a picture in 10 minutes, and uh, that's the show, right? Until we get struck by lightning or something, or somebody buy something and they can afford to uh, buy some frames or something like that. But, as always, as Steve Jobs tell you, the revolution of America comes out of somebody's fucking garage, generally their dad's garage, and uh, once it hits, boom, kapow, kapooey, and they'll be able to pay child support. That's what we want. All right, you want me to see, see me use a brush or something? What is it today, brush or roller, people? I say, we start with this. We got lots of this one. general theme in mind, right? The American flag, eh? Okay. I want to step right on the thing because I'm so damn lazy. I ain't got to be right with that. First line. Do you like the way I paint? I usually don't do this. I mean, Jackson Pollock did this stuff and it was kind of like if Jackson Pollock was a drunk more than me, he fucking uh, Ran his girlfriend's head into a shrink color, you know, so uh, I'm really trying not to do that. Like, I'm not too late, but uh, Jackson Paul got a section 8 from the fucking war. And, uh, you know, I signed up for the war, but I was like, I met a girl. She was the hottest girl in high school. Her name was Bridget, by the way. And uh, I was like, well, I killed people when you got women. <laughs> you know what I mean? You probably don't know what I mean. You're gonna like this leg, it's gonna be some pink in the red. Because brother, got no paint. Poverty ain't no thing to be ashamed of. As long as you work your ass off, you're trying. Okay, this one's up. Okay, so now we're in severe, severe trouble. Uh, somebody forgot to order product. You know, the time is running out. You're in another room. Alright, you're looking at my ass crack, you can march it. Yeah, I don't know how many 
me to that. I grew up in Canada, so uh, excuse my number of uh, stars and stripes, eh? But uh, my intention is honest, you know. So fuck that. That's gone. Um. All right. All right. Say, Mike, thanks for believing in the crew. I'm going back soon. I love the aliens are coming down. And they're going to help me out. trademark or some bullshit like that. Look at that. That's hot. Sexy. $1,850, folks. This is what the Chinese are stealing from us. Our production capacity. As I said before, you probably don't catch it because you probably didn't watch all the episodes. If you don't think I'm an American original and the first of my kind in the goddamn world, so you try some sex rescue. Pittsburgh, and I'm a, what's, what's it called, the progenitor of that. And uh, I'm not asking you for respect for that, but uh, it would be nice if you understood it. Because I believe that uh, my breeding technique carries the cure for schizophrenia and crum uh, diseases born around the sixth chromosome. And uh, I talked to a number of hospitals and genetics departments at universities about uh, giving them a sample. They want nothing to do with it because they get all their money from the pharmaceutical departments. And, uh, Pharmaceutical manufacturing companies, not departments, I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, there is no money in the cure. That is a common theme in the type of business we do. The money is all in the treatment. Like for me, I already told you, I got a damn nice case of bipolar. I fucking used to call government agencies all the time and tell them I'm descended from Jesus and I'm here to save the world. I wasn't lying. But uh, they were like, why is that our problem? And I was like, well, I don't know who to call. And they were like, well, that's a religious thing. Why don't we call the churches? So I, yeah, I, I, I called the papacy. And I told them. Man, uh, they don't want to fuck with me, you know. I talk about the Freemasons too much, and the Papacy doesn't like the Freemasons. If you're Catholic, you're not allowed to be a Freemason, but... I mean, well, the other way around, I explained that wrong. Ooh, baby. Alright. Good thing I got lots of white, eh? Fuck. Suck and... Alright. No, it goes the other way. Um, the Freemasons allow anybody from any religion to join... The fraternity. But the Catholic Church does not allow Catholic men, which the free Masonic fraternity mostly is, like uh, men, to uh, join the Freemasons. Freemasons are open, they're like Americans. If you could do something that's cool and beneficial to the country, Come on in, you know, if you're hot, green check or something from outer space, come on in. That's pretty dead too. Oh man, you people are disappointing me, man. I'm running out of paint. Now how do I do the blue? Big genius. Oh yeah, all right. 
So anyway, there's that. My point was, uh, not one institution around the globe has called me back about giving samples of my DNA. And I'm the first person in the world to be a progenitor of a, a child born with the mosaicism that had three copies in some of her cells with six, the sixth chromosome. Is this red? Can I do that? Think about it. Think about it. Um, I got it. Hold on. Fist break or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, like a. Damn well, straight. I mean, I read studies that the chromosome 6 is responsible for encoding schizophrenia, right? And uh, what my chromosome 6 does is split. And two, so temporarily in some of the cells of the fetus being groomed for life, it says 666 in the chromosomes because they got three copies of the six chromosome, i.e. 666. And, uh, you know, I'm the first uh, father of that kind of child. There's about two, three more in the world, you know, whatever. Like, uh, if I don't take my antipsychotics every day, I think like, yeah, well, I'm the bearer of the first horseman, you know, of the apocalypse, you know? And then you look at the shit on the world going on and all that, and you're like, oh, um, maybe. <laughs> you know, like, fuck, drink some more beer, I don't know. How come my roller's not rolling? Somebody drinks me, man. What's a little blue there? I don't like it. But happy mistakes. Soon, once my help arrives, we're going to get out into the woods, the fields and stuff, and uh, we're going to show you the cows and the goats, big horses, little horses. Uh, what else we got? we got? We got a big bull that hangs out around the corner, waiting to be eaten. And we're going to put that sucker on the back of a pickup truck to take him with a steak knife. And, uh, you know, it, it, I don't know, man. The, the world's like crazy. Belief systems are crazy. The whole notion of a multiverse is crazy. And my breeding capacity is crazy. I'm not having any more kids. I'm trying not to. Like, child support when you're fucked in the head doesn't go together too well. Ooh, look at these. So, as it goes, we're going to have to let this dry for a while, eh? because you see how wet that is. I read this thing on, uh, it was Facebook, don't tell me, I mentioned that, where uh, there's this photo of this girl, and she's like, I'm so turned on, I'm dehydrated, eh? And I'm like, whatever, man. I've done that to women, too. Jeez. All right. How are we looking? We need the stars. It's about done, though, you know, that's it. How long was that? 1800 bucks, what, 10 minutes or something? So, uh, that's what I'm telling you, kids. Wait till you see me start, like, actually printing stuff. When you use a brush, it takes longer. We've got to charge more, I know. We're not there yet. you got to take little baby steps. And then you got to crawl. Well, other way, you got to crawl, walk, run. A very brilliant friends of mine taught me this. They actually, uh... Well, actually, the person that taught me that is uh, pretty much in charge of hiring and firing everybody that works for the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. So, uh, suck a dick. Okay, so I'm a firm believer in go with what you got. I gave up on uh, those easels you can buy a long time ago. This is actually... The bottom of a box that I cut off from a bunch of little canvases I did over the holidays. I always make a, like holiday paintings. Made a hundred of them, sold one to a farmer. And uh, that was about it. So they're still sitting around. Now they're, uh, they're like trees and mangers. Now they're uh, trees and uh, farms. 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 And uh, anyway, my point is, why waste money if you don't have to? I mean, this is like, you know, this works, you know. 
you just throw the thing away when you're done, and you're going to throw it away anyway. So anyway, we got to uh, finish off the flag here. I, I was just thinking during my uh, break there, we should put a commercial in there, you know? Big, big commercial for 100 bucks or something. So we can buy some more beer and cigarettes and stuff. Uh, got to find a paintbrush. Da, da, da. This one looks good. Uh, yeah, like my, he's not my buddy, but he's a guy, you know. He, he beat the living hell out of me one time. Gave me a permanent scar on my forehead, I don't know if you saw it. But, uh, he was also the guy that beat, uh, God's ass in one of the Kevin Smith films, if you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, I thought it was cool, because, I, you know, I thought I was descended from Jesus. He's, he's, t you know, characterized, he, he played a character. To beat the shit out of God, so I want to go after Jesus too, the Son of God, right? And, uh, yeah, he kicked my ass pretty good. Stepped on my head a couple times, you know, after he threw me to the ground, that kind of thing. But anyway, he plays this role in the new Moonshiner movie, if you've seen that. And I thought he nailed it. He was the best part of the movie, and I think he only got like four episodes or something. But, we shall see, man. We will see. It's like on, uh, what's that channel, GFW, WGN or something, I don't know, you know, like, it's on there, it's on every Tuesday at like 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock, or depends where you live, that kind of thing, and, uh, people always say, why you paint crosses? Well, that's how I paint a star, so, suck it. Okay, we're almost done, you want, you want an autograph? I don't want to sign this one, because uh, the shit's still wet. Well, I'm going to, so it's all captured on film. You're staring at me, that's the end. Okay, all done. Get your duct tape, buy the thing, tape it to your wall. See y'all tomorrow. Maybe. Alright, well anyway, we're in the garage in America, uh, and uh, you're getting an idea of what we're doing. We're just going to do this on a single shot. The beer is starting to take effect, so is the red one. This is from yesterday, or I don't know. But this is a pretty awesome painting, and I think I'm selling it for 30 bucks on eBay. You just take some duct tape, you knock the spiders off, and uh, you throw it on your own, and you're cool. It's an official cool tag. Like, I want to support the revolution of the United States, which Jefferson said should happen pretty much every generation. But, we got to clean the table off, and this is what a present so far. Cigarette ashtrays are not necessary. Maybe over here. Um, all we need is white paint today, because I'm going to show you something. And, uh, I'm going to show you what the Chinese do. And you know how the whole goddamn... These are paint markers. These are great. But, that Shepard Fairy shit. And he never showed when he was supposed to show me. So, fuck him. Uh, th these are really cool. But this sucks. I, I forget where I bought this. I think I bought this at Joanne's Fabrics. And it's supposed to be glitter glue, but it's like half glue and half glitter. So you squeeze out all, all the glue and then the glitter doesn't come up. Uh, that kind of sucks. This can uh, be put in a box or something. Uh, um, that can go like that so you can see the label. So it'll get sued. Green is nice. Green is actually sexy. Don't forget your duct tape. Okay. I don't even know if I'm in the frame. Probably need the duct tape back. I just did that because of uh, anger. Like I've been striking out a fat woman with scarves today. Whatever. We're going to stop talking about that. This is a vaporizer. When it pops, you're vaped. Um, okay. So back to the easel. Somebody should buy this for $100 million. Because this is the best, best thing you can get. 
if you're painting with an acrylic, and if you're painting in oil, go uh, go somewhere else, you know. Like, okay, we need the white paint. Here's enough white paint. I know what we're doing exactly now. I'm pretty sure this is in the frame. Huh? I'm showing you my cheap prints because you're all a bunch of people like me who don't have like eighteen hundred dollars for a painting or something, and you don't get the wall space because you couldn't afford a fucking nice house with a nice enough wall space for a meaningful painting. And uh, the revolution of America begins in the garage. Huh? I'm looking for stuff here now, man. You can't even see what I'm doing. You see this? That was Sleeping World, Sleeping Woman 6. It was actually uh, my uh, last apprentice. She fell asleep. And I took some photos of her, so I uh, painted her. Huh? And uh, what the fuck? Duck. Fuck the duck. That's enough, isn't it? I'm just showing you. Can, can you even see this? I'm going to check. Okay, there's that. Nah, the, the. Oh, breaking stuff up. Okay, so like these are 10 cent pieces of paper you can buy anywhere, you know, you just rip them out of a book. And basically it's a poster board, right? Huh? And uh, I might actually uh, do this in a way. That makes sense. Like I'm gonna sign them first. I'm not gonna number this. I'll number them after so you feel special, but I'll be number one of the million hand march. If I have a white I left this somewhere. I know I I damn well know I left this somewhere. Ah uh, suck. Mm. Seriously. Now what do I do? You want me to use the brush? Okay, I'll use a little brush if we got one. This is the littlest brush I got, which isn't that little. You gotta watch out for the Evil Dead chain hanging against my head. And we're gonna sign them first. There's duct tape falling from the ceiling. This brush sucks for signing. But whatever. Million Hand March, right? You can order these right off of uh, Facebook.com. Uh, Nave Conceptual. Slash Nave Conceptual. <laughs> Spelled my own name wrong, huh? Did that in my whole life. Oh, I guess better when the paint wears off. Oh, look at that. So, you're not actually allowed to choose which print you get on the Million Man March because we will send you one of these for five bucks in like an office envelope and uh, if you bitch about it we will delete your account makes me want to pee you hear that? how much water is in there, right? lots I'm not dating these ones either. I lost my white pen marker thing, paint marker. And uh, so, anyways, we're gonna roll this around in here like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. We're only making still the point with the economy, right? Like this country doesn't manufacture much here, you know. But you just do that, you know. I don't know how the blue got on it. Were we painting American flags? So these ones are special that way, you know. It's like the hand after the American flag, you know. And uh, uh, rub it around there, uh, get it greasy, yeah. And uh, that is the million hand march. Once we make a million of these, minus our costs, we'll have a couple million dollars to actually invest in the development of a new economic system that's automated over the internet. And there's going to be one day where I'm on TV. And there's going to be like some Star Trek shit going on, like the Enterprise is in danger. And Spock will tell me, because I made Spock pizza before, and it's not like I know the guy. But he was like, hey, this is good pepperoni. Whatever. And, uh, you know, 
Spock is gonna be like, press the red button, and it's gonna be like, oh shit, three, two, beep, you know, like, and uh, we're just gonna launch the new economy, and uh, all these uh, people that have uh, notions of uh, whatever they are, we're just gonna change the way everything works. I don't know. Getting excited. Okay, so that's pretty much it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And how long was this video? You watched it all. Alright.